Hi everyone, it's Rob from New Zealand Post here. Today we're going to be talking about customer notifications in eShip. Customer notifications allow you to automatically send customers their tracking numbers for their orders. This can save you a lot of time and effort as customers won't need to call you to get this information. It'll also mean they can track items by themselves. Lastly, it's a very handy feature for letting them know how far along their parcel delivery is. Let's take a look into the settings. Go into settings and then click on customer notifications. As you can see, we can send notifications at several different stages in a parcel's journey. We can send the notification as soon as the label is printed, which is generally less ideal as typically the item isn't picked up until a few hours later, but it's there as an option. We can send a notification as soon as the item is picked up and first scanned. This applies to courier post and paste deliveries. For New Zealand post deliveries, the initial pickup scan typically occurs at the International Mail Centre. We can send a notification when the item is in transit. We can send a notification when the item is up for delivery. And finally, we can send a notification when the parcel is delivered. We have two options for what kind of notifications we want to send. We can either send an email or an SMS. Let's take a look at emails for starters. I'm going to create an email template for when a parcel is picked up. First of all, we need to tick the option that we want to enable. There we go. And then hit save. Now we need to edit the email template. Just click this link. Here we have the email template for when the item is picked up. First of all, we need to input the name that the email will appear to be from. This is typically shown in the header of the email. Then we choose the from email. Again, this should be something from your business so the customer knows where the email is coming from. The third option allows you to choose a BCC. This is useful if you want to keep track of deliveries via email as well, as you can simply put your own email address in this field. Typically we leave it blank, however. The fourth field allows us to choose the subject of the email. We can customize this a little bit by using variables. I'll show you this now. By using this variable, when an email is sent, this piece of text will change depending on who shipped the order. For example, if it was a PACE delivery, it would say, your item has been picked up by PACE. We'll talk more about the available variables when we reach the next section. So lastly, we have the content of the email message. You can see there's a number of options that you can use to customize this content. Looking at what I've got here at the moment though, just some text saying your order's on its way and that your order has now been shipped. And then this section has all of the reference details. Our ref is typically the order number. Their ref is a secondary reference. The carrier is the courier who shipped it. It'll either be courier post, PACE, or New Zealand post. The tracking number will be the tracking number for the order. And the tracking URL is a link that the user can click to track the item on our website. Lastly, we've got a couple of variables that simply automatically place the company name and telephone number from our pickup address. You can customize any aspect of this in any way you like. For example, you can change the color, or the font, or even the size. You can also upload images, create links to your website, and even add other media like videos. The sky's the limit. 
If you're familiar with HTML code, you can switch the view from Design to HTML and edit the code this way. This gives you even more control over the appearance of the email. Typically, you'll want to add your own business logos and links to your social media and websites. Now back to variables. If you need to insert a variable, simply click it on the right hand side. You'll need to double click to make it appear. Alternatively, you can just type it. You can use these variables in the HTML code as well. Once you've customized the email to your liking, scroll down and choose Save Template. The last thing you'll want to do is give it a test. Scroll down to Test Notification and input your email address. And then click Send Test Email. Done. Let's have a look at some of the other options. Here we can set up an SMS as well. I'm going to do it for picked up. Simply tick the box, hit save, and make sure you edit the template before you carry on. SMSs are short by nature, so you'll want to make sure you don't put too much content in here. Something simple such as your parcel is on its way, order number, don't forget to add who it's from. Then save the template. As before, you may want to send a test notification. Just bear in mind that sending a test will use up some of your credit. Simply input your mobile number here and send test SMS. Regarding the billing of SMSs, you'll need to set this up before you can get started. Go to Billing and then SMS credit. Here you can set up a credit card and save it and then you're able to top up every time. The pricing for SMS alerts is 15 cents per message. You can top up at any time simply by adding the dollar value that you wish to add then clicking add credit. Alright, let's look at one more feature. Go back to customer notifications. This one's quite exciting. We can customize the tracking page that customers are sent to when they click the tracking link in either an email or SMS that we send them. Let's have a look at this. First, tick enable, click save, and then edit the page template. Okay. Let's look at all the features of this page from the top to bottom. First of all, you can turn it off and on using the checkbox here. Second option gives you the ability to enable return shipping label generation from the tracking page itself. This means a customer can create their own return label, downloading it as a PDF, and then use it to return items. One of the key things about this feature is that this option will only be available after the item is shipped. This is extremely helpful for managing returns. Let's turn it on for now. Moving on, we can specify the title of the custom tracking page. This will appear at the top, like this. You can add a logo at the header. Simply tick Use Custom Logo, and then use the file picker to select your logo file. The recommended dimensions are here. As you can see, this section appears at the top of the page. The next section down is Tracking Progress, which shows your customer the current stage of delivery. Underneath that is a segment for notices, 
This is typically advertising. You can put in links to your latest products or just attractive visual advertising. Don't forget you can use HTML here as well, so dynamic content is possible. In the body of the branded tracking page will be the tracking information. Finally, at the footer, you can add additional items such as links to your Facebook page and website, or contact details. Once you're finished, click Save Settings. I'm going to add some information now. Next you'll be wondering how to test this. I recommend going to the customer notifications page, clicking one of your email templates, and using the test notification page. This will send you an example email that is populated with test information and we'll give you a link to your tracking page where you can see what everything looks like. That about sums up this feature. However, if you wish to go into more detail, I recommend using the support link in the top right and go into our support pages. Here you can find a little bit more information about what each feature does. That concludes this lesson. Thanks for watching.